guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the last one from my Rainbow Sim series. Today we're obviously going to be doing the Rainbow Sim, but I was also thinking about possibly doing a bonus episode of Rainbow Pets, so let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that, and yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so for the Rainbow Sim, I decided to name her Rachel Rainbow, and I gave her some gray eyes, lashes, and freckles. Then I have this super cute, like, bun hairstyle that comes in like a million really pretty colors. There is actually like two colors that are like literal rainbow colors, but I ended up choosing like the pastel pink and blue just because I thought it was just a lot cuter. For her everyday outfit, I was stuck between two pairs of jeans because they both have rainbows on it, but I ended up going with like the lighter blue pair because it has a rainbow and it has a giant unicorn patch. I gave her some pink converses and I also tried a lot of different tops with this look but I ended up just picking like this gray sweatshirt that had some, it's like a floral pattern but there are kind of like colors in it. It's not like screaming rainbow but it's more of like a pastel rainbow look. Now her formal outfit is like a little bit weird. I don't mind the dress, I think it's pretty cute, but what happened was I found rainbow eyeshadow online and I tried to make it look good. It just doesn't, like you guys might like it. I, just, I think it kind of looks funny, so. This is what she looks like. I gave her a necklace and some white heels and this is just, it's, it's not the best, but it's not terrible. Now her sporty outfit is definitely a louder rainbowed look. So instead of the pastel stuff, she has like a very vibrant rainbow Adidas t-shirt with some black shorts. Then I'm pretty sure I cycled through like every hat color possible that I had and in the end I ended up picking white for some reason. I don't know why, that's kind of weird, but she has a white hat and green sneakers. For her pajamas, I started off with some socks and bunny slippers, and I was gonna go for the shorts, but I ended up changing them to some really cute striped leggings, and for her top, she's wearing like a pastel tri-colored sweater. For her party outfit, I ended up picking the cute dress with the sweater underneath it again. I'm just obsessed with this and I actually found one that had a rainbow patch on it so I felt like it went well even though it was a darker look and I just paired it with some black sandals. I pretty much only had two options for swimwear. One was this really cute unicorn swimsuit but I ended up picking this like marbleized thing. It honestly just looks like someone threw a lush bath bomb in the tub, but I think it's cute. For her warm weather outfit, I gave her a tie-dye tank top with my favorite high-waisted ripped denim shorts. Then I gave her some purple platform sneakers and some accessories like necklaces and bracelets. For her cold weather outfit, I gave her a thermal with some leggings, snow boots, and like a cardigan, and I just kind of cycled through the different colors to see what looked best together. I also gave her a winter hat and some gloves, and in the end, I ended up picking a blue shirt, purple leggings, and a pink cardigan.
Now for the rainbow house, this was a little bit tricky because I wanted to use the siding that I have been using, but all of the colors were kind of too dark and I wanted the rainbow house to be very vibrant. So as you can tell right now, um, the build, like the shape of this house is very much exactly the same as the green one because I'm obsessed with the way that house looked. So I built it again, but I use paint for the exterior, like painted walls instead of like siding. But it's fine. I think it looks fine. It definitely brings a lot of color into the house because the siding was literally so dark, like it looked gross. I basically took both sections of the house and like separated them by color. So the smaller section on the left has red, orange, yellow, and green. And the section on the right has blue, purple, a darker purple, and then pink. The colors that I used on the outside of the house, I just used on the inside of the house as well. I added a ton of colorful windows and doors to the house, and then for the roof, I just ended up picking orange because why not? I wanted the deck area of this house to be the same as the green one, so I just made like a funky little shape and removed it so that it would be this weird, I don't know what to call it, but it looks cool. I fixed the path, I added some stairs, and then in the corner where like you can't put stairs, I decided to put a lot of cute little plants. And then I took these flower bushes, I alternated the colors of them and put them on either side of the path leading to the house. And then in the front little empty section of the yard, I added a really cute pink tree that has like rainbow lanterns and swings on it. And then I also added some more like plants and grass. Now for the inside of the house, I started by decorating the kitchen and I wanted to do like a rainbow cabinet thing, but it looked kind of funny. So I kind of just stuck with fewer colors. I added this cute white refrigerator. I think it's from like the spa pack or something, but it has like colored juice bottles in it. So I thought that fit the theme. Then I added all the other usual kitchen stuff like a sink and a stove, some bar stools, a dishwasher, and then for like the little entry area, I found this really pretty blue runner. Now for the living room, as you guys probably guessed, I did change my mind quite a few times, but I really like the way this room came out. So I started by having a couch, obviously. Um, and then in the corners across from the couch, I added some smaller chairs. Then we have a cute little piece of furniture under the TV with some little poofy ottomans so you can put your feet up. I added a bunch of cute decorations, I added some fairy lights on the wall, and of course, I made the wall black. For the bathroom, I just added a shower, a sink, and a toilet like I usually do, but I tried to bring in some color by adding some blue tile, and I made the towels on the wall purple, so it's not the most rainbow bathroom ever, but it's, you know, it's kind of colorful. For the bedroom, I added my favorite white bed, and of course, I found the most perfect duvet cover. It's like a pastel rainbow watercolor looking thing, and it's beautiful. I added some blue glass nightstands and a blue lamp in the corner. Then I added a candle, and I found this really cute good night sign. I just made it a little bit bigger, and I hung it above the bed. Then I just added some pillows, a mirror, a cute place for jewelry, and that's pretty much it. This is the Rainbow House. If you guys like it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!